we are back in the Faroe Islands for this Sunday's custom database recommendation. So we are recommended a database by Jog Van 86 The link to the Steam download is in the description. So just to confirm, we did not make this database. This is by Jog Van 86 He has created it. I checked it out, downloaded it, and I'm a big fan of the work. And that's why I am promoting this database to you. Now in FM23, I won the UEFA Champions League with AB from the Faroe Islands. And it was... One of the greatest journeys I've ever had in Football Manager. And you have the chance to do it on this year's using this custom database. So it has all four divisions. You start with the third division here, where all the third choice teams are. Then you have some of the B teams and a couple of teams. So you're in here, MB are in here. And then you go up to the second tier, where like Sir Hoivig and NSI are. And then up to the top flight where you have AB, B68 and obviously KI who have been giant killers in European football in real life this year. But I'm excited. I think it's been a well put together database. If we go to the rules side of things, you can see they have, for example, that you can have no more than four foreign players in your team. Um, you can see the income that you get, um, 90k, you get less money for coming second than you do for ninth but i guess the difference is you then go into europe and get money from there is the reason behind that um nations that don't count as foreign is denmark norway sweden iceland finland and ukraine and i think that will be down to the fact that ukrainian people have been offered the chance of being a refugee all over europe due to the situation there now, as well as the divisions, you have the cups. You have the normal cup, which you have here. And then you also have the super cup as well. So, fantastic. Well put together. You have the under-21 division A, division B, and the under-21 cup as well, which is great to see. So, do you want the challenge of taking over the Fair Islands? We've holidayed te um, 10, <laughs> not so far, five years into the future. So, we're going to head there and see how this league develops. So the first season ended with a KI domination, winning by 9 points, with B68 and TB going down. In the second season, B36 won it, so KI don't win it every single year. NSI came second. Now, bear in mind, in season one, they are in the second tier. Now, AB and Scala went down. Sad to see my former Champions League winners AB going down. The season after that, KI won it back with NSI continuing their form in second place. And then in the fourth season, Vikinger Goethe won it with KI in second. AB going down again. They must have come back up. In 27, so season 5, KI won it with TB in 68 going down. And then in 28, the season which we've just finished there, KI won it. AB went down again. So in the holiday I've done, AB have basically been a yo-yo club. Going up and down, up and down, up and down. But what I want to do is check KI. Are the Fair Islands competitive? Is there... Oh, you can see straight away. They are in the Conference League group phase in 2029. So in 2028, they made it through to the Conference League group phase, which is nice. In 2027, they were in the Conference League group phase again from 26 to 27. Fantastic. In 25, they're in the Europa League group phase. So that means in 2024, they qualified for that. And then 23, they went out, unfortunately, in the qualifying. But you see it there. They've been successful. 2.19 million in the bank. Um, if we go through 1.3 for NSI, um, minus 231. Viking Gerta have 1.2. 200k for Vester. B36 have 699. Uh, Tofta have 31. Um, 265 in the red for EB. Um, HB have minus 600, minus 268, and then back to KI. So I think looking at that five years in, the finances are very well structured. Clubs who do well make a lot of money. Clubs who don't do well, you're not losing millions and millions they are in a position where they can financially stabilize themselves and balance the books 
So it looks like a well put together, well developed and well managed database and definitely one I want to recommend. And on these Sundays, I'm recommending custom databases that you can play in your spare time, you can have fun with. And this is the database this week. So the link is in the description below for the Steam link. Go and check it out, give them a go and let me know if you try it.